Okay, my quick release exhaust system. Here in a nutshell it is, grab it, pull it off, squeeze the handles to release it. It rotates once it's on freely so you can get your exhaust lines relaxed. And obviously one-handed operation, which was one of my goals. Pretty straightforward. The concept is that there's these two uh, faces here, we'll call them teeth if you will. When you squeeze the two handles, they flex out. And when they flex out, they can release from a slot, which is in all the accessories. Because the accessories have a slot, you can still put a regular line and uh, hose clamp onto that. So it's reverse compatible, I guess is the way to put that with kind of the old school pipes, which so if you can see here what I've done on a wide joint, for example, I've put the pipe clamps everywhere. But on this wide joint, I've actually put a, a quick release. And so you can mix and match, put wherever you want, whatever you want, wherever you want, and um, total flexibility. Each of the ad additional components to the system, I'm referring to them as accessories because I don't really know what else to call them. They are printed in multiple components. And so the best or easiest example here is to look at this big Y joint. It's actually a core element, which is the Y itself, and then ends. And these ends give us the sharp edge that the teeth, sharp edge that the teeth on the jaw or the head need to clamp onto. So wherever you have an opening on an accessory, you slide on one of these, you glue on one of these, and you can put those everywhere. Well, you have to put them everywhere and that gives you the ability to now either put a hose or put a, a, a quick release head on. And I also have a mounting system incorporated into it. And the mounting system is kind of the opposite. Instead of a groove, it's a, a ridge. And so this ridge, I'll show you in a second, it allows us to mount this quick, quick release mounts uh, for uh, all the accessories or most of the accessories. The, the, the mount element, this ridge, can also be installed anywhere, so it can go on any connection. So however you want to mount your device. Similarly, um, this, set, this, this straight connection has the mount on it, and then you would put these two ends on, glue them on. The reason that I made all the accessory components uh, a glue together style is that by doing so, I can print them always in the right orientation to the bed so that I get a super sharp uh, surface parallel to the print bed. And that's absolutely critical to getting a really strong connection here. Because of that, I can't pull these off uh, without squeezing the handles. I tried all sorts of other strategies and, and, I, and, and this became definitely the winner. Um, and obviously you could do the same thing with some, with some support but I, after experimenting with that, I just couldn't get the same kind of clean edge that you get from just printing with this on the lower edge. So that's why I went with it all. And when I tried gluing it, it was so good, so successfully gluing the PETG that I didn't see any reason to undo that strategy. So everything prints independently with no support except for the head itself. This support structure uh, prints inside this head and it supports these teeth here so that you get a, exactly what I was describing there, a really clean, sharp edge that's overhanging parallel to the print bed. And uh, so when you're done, you just have to pop that out. You might need a knife just to clean it up a little bit because I made it really tight so that you do get a very, very sharp edge there. And that was critical, as I mentioned a minute ago, about just you know getting a really good bite against the accessory. I'm using this B7000 um, adhesive. I picked it up on Amazon, super cheap. And all you have to do is take this off, run a bead around this part, which inserts into the, uh, the core component, put it on, give it a one half turn rotation and leave that overnight and they're solid like a one piece. So that works super well. Those of you who have Vorons and perhaps other printers as well have a 6060 fan on the back of them. And this is the uh, accessory component to mount on that. So again, you've got the core component and then the same end. It's the same end used everywhere. You glue it on and that gets installed on the back of your Voron so you can just clamp on and off quickly.
I also made some extensions. These can theoretically be fitted into in between any of the parts before you glue them together. So for example, you might take a Y, stick this on, and then another Y here and create a manifold, which is uh, something I'm thinking about doing for up here. Uh, not that I have any need to, because it's fine the way it is right now, but if I did build this as a manifold, I'd have a little bit more structural integrity to just hold it, and you can see it's kind of all moving around right now. So that's just something I might do. Uh, but the extensions also help you if you're running just short on a little bit of hose, you can you know, obviously build a little length somewhere to make up for that if that's if that's your situation. The mounts, I think worked out really well as, really well, really well as well. Uh, the ridge on each part goes down into the mount and in the mount, there's a groove matching up to that ridge. So once you put it in, you snap down the, the top and that's now locked into place. So that's what's holding most of this up and also down below. The mounting clamp, the mounting bracket, uh, is also print in place and has a little uh, latch there so you can just squeeze here to open it. Those work really well and I just put three, uh, two mounting holes in the back so you can attach it to the wall and then run your lines. I created a profile, um, this profile, to fit onto these shelves and um, I actually created two of them, an extended one, because here I've got a power bar um, mounted, which I also made the mounts for here. And I, so I needed to lower the, um, the exhaust lines. In my case, I'm running these six Vorons here and they're coming up to the wall. And at the wall, there's a manifold, a two intake manifold. So I've got two lines coming in. And then behind that is a 120 millimeter fan. And then another uh, adapter that I made goes from the fan to the wall. And then out through the wall is um, just standard ducting for a dryer vent. And that's what's on the other side into the outdoors. I've, I've made a small cap to cap off the system. So for example, if I want to pull out a machine to service it, I can just pull that off, cap it, leave the system running. I don't have to worry about it. And, I, and that obviously is the head cap. And then I made a cap that will go on any of the other openings as well. So there's two caps. The reason I have a fan up here, if it isn't obvious, is that that's creating a little bit of negative pressure in the entire system. So that's running, I've actually got it on a Wi-Fi switch, so it doesn't run all the time, but uh, that runs when I've got any of the printers running. And because of that, I'm drawing air all the time out of the system. And uh, then when one of the fans on a Voron kicks in, it's just real easy pushing air out and it works super, super well. 100% eliminated any smell from any printing. And um, obviously I can still control the internal temperature uh, by not engaging this fan. There's not enough pull from that one up there to drain the, 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 the Voron of its internal temperature. Um, so the whole system works super well. I'm super happy with that. Uh, the only thing that I'm not sure whether we need or not, I designed a little gasket. I printed it in TPU to go into the head. And so when a part goes onto it, part goes inside there, it just closes up the end to end of it and tries to create a better seal. Now, as you can see, I'm not using it on here because I don't think it's needed. It, the, the seal is already awesome on here. Uh, just enough to ro just enough clearance to rotate and I don't have any sense that there's any leakage there or any meaningful amount of leakage. I did put one on this one uh, just to see and yeah, it probably is better, but I don't think it's necessary, but it's there anyways, if you wanna, wanna use it. So that's that, that's everything I think. Yeah, really good system, super happy with it. I hope it works for you if you need it. If you have any feedback, please let me know. So yeah, there you have it.